Hey Church, my name's Adam, I'm part of the Central Campus here uh, and I'm a member of the production team uh, and I have the honour of giving today's devotion uh, which will be on uh, relationships uh, over rules, okay? Uh, so let's just start in prayer quickly. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you for Allow me to do this devotion today, Lord, and thank you for uh, whoever is watching this, Lord, and uh, may you uh, watch over them and protect them um, uh, as we start this week. Uh, in your name we pray, amen. Brilliant. So let's get on to it. So the scripture I'm going to use is from uh, the book of uh, the gospel according to Mark chapter 10, uh, verses 17 to 22. So uh, we'll go ahead and read that out. So if you've got your Bible with you or you want to flip off um, Facebook or Instagram and get onto the Bible app uh, and you can highlight that after I've spoken, that's great as well. But gospel according to Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 22 says, as Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit external life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You should not murder. You should not commit adultery. You should not steal. You should not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honour your father and mother. Teacher, he declared, all these things I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him one thing you lack he said go sell everything you have and give it to the poor and you will have the treasure in heaven then come and follow me at this the man's face fell he went away sad because he had great wealth now it's quite a well-known passage this one and i often wonder what happened to that rich person who had everything together uh, seemingly did everything right um, but seriously missed the point of what a life following jesus would have looked like, okay? Um, but he would have inherited eternal life at that point. Uh, and he inherited eternal life, what it was all about. He thought it was about following the rules, um, but Jesus knew what he lacked, okay? The enemy, in general, we wanna think about this for a second, the enemy wants to trick us into trying to earn our place and saying that we must, we must do what we earn, we must earn what we get. Uh, fighting for your rights, is what Jesus would do. And he wants to, the enemy wants to bind us. The enemy wants to bind the truth, keep you from Jesus and lead you down maybe a path that uh, maybe you've been on before that wasn't good enough for you or maybe a path that you haven't been on but you know you're trying to avoid. He wants to keep you uh, in lack, the state of being without or not having enough of something, okay? So what you want to think about is I want you to ask yourself this question this morning. Ask yourself the question, is the devil succeeding? in keeping me from a relationship from Jesus? Am I walking with Jesus as I should and I could? And am I trying to prove myself, yet I feel lacking? Now, I love this part of the scripture. I love the gospel according to Mark because where it says in verse 21, Jesus looked at him and loved him. And that's what it's all about. You know, Jesus loves us, whatever. We all get this, you know, we all get this free unmerited grace from God. It's a beautiful thing. Know that you are loved, know that you are loved beyond measure, know that you will love whatever we do, whatever mistakes we make or whatever choice we choose, we are loved beyond measure. Take a moment to ask yourself as well um, how Jesus shows that he loves you and how loved you are. Thanks to Jesus. Uh, I hope this devotion has been good for you guys and have a blessed uh, start of the week. Thank you guys. See you later, church.